Hello guys, welcome again to our tutorial series, welcome to Teacher Will's tutorial, in this video, we are going to study the topic in life science entitled, Unifying Themes in the Study of Life Science. Biology is the natural science that studies life and living organisms, including their physical structure, chemical processes, molecular interactions, physiological mechanisms, development and evolution. It shapes our understanding of our world, from human health to biotechnology to environmental preservation. Unifying themes connect concepts from many fields in biology. In the study of biology, there are several unifying concepts of themes that come up time after time even in topics that might seem unrelated. So here are the unifying themes in studying life science. 1. Biological system. 2. The cellular basis of life. 3. Structure and function. 4. Reproduction and inheritance. 5. Interaction with the environment. 6. Energy and life. 7. Regulation. 8. Adaptation. 9. Evolution. 10. Biology and society, let us explore all these, one by one. The biological system, have you ever heard the saying, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, it actually captures the importance of how a combination of parts can from a more complex organization called a system, all levels of life have systems of related parts, a system is an organized group of interacting parts, say for example, the cell, a cell is a system of chemicals and processes. Also, a body system includes organs that interact, your body, like any organism, is a living system, you make use the interactions among its parts when you type on a keyboard or click a computer mouse, the joints in your fingers and wrist give your hand a wide range of movements, but your bones themselves cannot move, movement depends on contractions of the muscles attached to the bones, muscles are coordinated by signals from the brain, carried by nerves, finally, blood vessels supply all of these parts with oxygen and food, together, the parts of your body enable you to work the computer, you are certainly more than the sum of your parts, and so are all biological systems. Like in human, the ecosystem can be also a biological system, an ecosystem includes living and non-living things that interact is also a biological system, for example, the organisms in the ecosystem require a steady supply of certain chemicals to live, plants obtain most of their necessary chemicals from the soil, water and air, animals acquire most of the chemicals they need by eating plants or other animals, chemicals are returned to the soil by bacteria and fungi that decompose the wastes and remains of organisms, you could say that such such interactions of organisms with each other and with non-living environment, put the system in ecosystem, the biological system applies to all levels of life, from the biosphere all the way down to the interactions of molecules and cells. The cellular basis of life, as part of the unifying themes in the study of life, all organisms are made up of cells, the cell is the basic unit or the building block of life, if an organism is made of only one cell, it is called unicellular, on the other hand, if an organism is made up of many cells, it is called multicellular, let's see how it works, most multicellular organisms have cells that are specialized for different functions, two specialized cells in your body are your muscle cells, which contract and enable you to move, and your nerve cells, which transmit impulses that control your muscles. In most multicellular organisms, cells are organized into higher levels of organization, beginning with the cellular level, the next is tissue, which is a group of similar cells that together perform a specific function, for example, the nerve tissue consists of many nerve cells organized into a complex network, several types of tissue together make up a structure called an organ, the brain is an organ that consists of nerve tissue and other types of tissues, finally, several organs that together carry out a major body function make up an organ system, in in this example, the brain, spinal cord, and nerves make up the organ system called, the nervous system. A multicellular organism's development and survival are based in the functions and interactions of its many cells. This cellular basis of life is a theme you will encounter often as you explore the living world. The structure and function, at every step of the biological hierarchy, structure and function are connected, for example, different cells have specific components that help them carry out their duties, red blood cells, which carry oxygen, are formed differently than the white blood cells that fight infection, the relationship between structure and function is also apparent in entire organisms and the physiological systems that serve them, structure and function are related in biology, structure determines function, the structure is the shape of the object, the function is the object's specific role, proteins with different structures perform different functions, heart muscle cells have a different structure and function than stomach muscle cells, different species have different anatomical structures with different functions. 
The reproduction and inheritance, all living things reproduce, reproduction involves the transfer of genetic information from parents to offspring, inheritance is the passing on of genetic traits from parents to their offspring, and these offspring get all the genetic information from their parents, therefore, inheritance explains why parents and their children have similar characteristic traits. The genes are made up of information-rich molecules called DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule composed of two polynucleotide chains that coil around each other to form a double helix carrying genetic instructions for the development, functioning, growth and reproduction of all known organisms and many viruses. Each cell in your body contains a copy of the entire DNA that you inherited from your mother and father. When a cell divides, it copies its DNA and passes this genetic information onto each of the two cells it reproduces. How is this information passed from parent organisms to offspring? In humans, an egg cell from the mother fuses with a sperm cell from the father. The result is a fertilized cell containing a combination of DNA from both parents. The inherited DNA directs the transformation of the fertilized egg into a person, with his or her own eye color, facial features, and other characteristics. The fifth unifying themes in the study of life science is the interaction with the environment. No organism is completely isolated from its surroundings, as part of an ecosystem, each organism interacts continuously with its environment, for example, a plant obtains water and nutrients from the soil, carbon dioxide gas from the air, and energy from sunlight. The plant uses these three inputs from its environment for photosynthesis the process by which plants make food. Likewise, the plant also has an impact on its surroundings, for example, as a plant grows, its roots break up rocks and release acids that change the soil. This affects the types of organisms that can live in a soil. Plants also release oxygen as a by-product of photosynthesis. Other organisms as well as plants use this oxygen for their own survival. The transfer of chemicals between organisms and their environment is a key process in any ecosystem. Think about your own chemical exchanges with the outside world. You breathe air, drink water, eat food, and get rid of waste products. Living requires a daily balance of such inputs and outputs. Sixth theme in the study of life science is energy and life. All organisms need a source of energy to carry out life processes. Moving, growing, reproducing, and other activities of life require energy to perform work. Work depends on the source of energy. Energy is obtained in chemical from in sugar, fats, and other fuels like molecules in your food through the process of metabolism. Metabolism is a chemical process that build up or break down the materials. Number 7, the regulation or homeostasis, living things have parts and processes that help individuals or species survive. The ability of organism to regulate their internal conditions is an example of homeostasis or, steady state, a mechanism that makes organisms regulates their internal conditions, despite changes in their external environment. Such activity can be observed in mammals like human, birds and other forms of organism. Number 8. Adaptation. Adaptation is an inherited trait that gives an advantage to individual organisms and is passed on to future generations. It is an inherited trait that helps organisms' ability to survive and reproduce on its particular environment. In natural selection, genetic trait helps some individuals of a species survive and reproduce more successfully than others in a particular environment. Next, we have the evolution. Evolution is a unifying theme in biology. It explains changes in organisms over long periods of time. Evolution is the change in living things over time. It means, a process of change. It is a change in the genetic makeup of a subgroup population, of a species. Evolution links observations from all of biology, and cells to the biosphere. Evolution is simply a long-term response to the environment. And finally, we have the biology and society. Knowledge from biological science can be applied to specific problems in the society to improve human life. For example, the development of a vaccine against poliomyelitis virus in the 1950s was a scientific breakthrough that had a large impact on society. By producing the polio vaccine in bulk and distributing it throughout the world, scientists, business leaders, and governments have worked together to reduce the threat of polio. Through science, humans learn about the natural world. Technology applies this knowledge in new ways. Unifying themes in the study of life show the connections among living things and how they interact with each other and with their environment, and that conclude our lesson for today. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell for more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Good day.